Today, I'm going to explain a movie, Leave the World Behind. Just like every other day, today begins. At the beginning of the story, Amanda is shown, who lives in America with her husband and two children. Amanda doesn't trust anyone easily and she's also a bit short-tempered. However, today, her mood seems unusually good. She tells her husband that she's booked a house on an island for a holiday getaway. They need to get ready to head there soon. Her husband agrees, and swiftly, along with her husband and their two children, arrives at the island house. Once there, Amanda tells her husband that she's going to the grocery store. As she returns with groceries, she spots a man loading packed food and water into his car. But the quantity of grocery items he's purchasing seems strangely excessive. Amanda returns home, and with her entire family, she heads to the beach to enjoy some time together. But as they're having fun, a massive oil ship appears on the horizon, which is coming towards them. At first, it seems like it's changing the direction, but as it nears to them, everyone on the beach starts running for their lives. Soon, security personnel arrive, revealing that not only this oil ship but several others have landed on the beach in a similar manner. Afterwards, Amanda returns home safely with her family. After returning home, they found out that the internet isn't working, meaning they can't order food online. After putting the kids to bed, when Amanda is downstairs with her husband, there's a knock on their door. When they open the door, there's a man outside with his daughter. He says, my name is Scott and this is my house. I live in the city, but suddenly the power went out there, so I had to come here with my daughter. I know you've paid rent for this house. I'll refund your money, just let me stay in the basement tonight. Amanda doesn't trust him, so she talks to her husband alone first. Her husband says, I think they're telling the truth. Then Scott's daughter turns on the TV, but there's no channel coming in. Every channel has the same message written, unrecognized emergency alert. Amanda realizes that Scott is telling the truth. She can see the concern on Scott's face. Apparently, he's a government officer and he might know what's happening in the world. The following morning, Amanda's daughter wakes her up and says, the internet still isn't working. After that, Amanda checks her phone, where there are many breaking news updates about blackout power failure outages. She wakes her husband to show him, but all the news disappears from her phone. After this, she goes outside and tells Scott that there was some breaking news on my phone. Hearing this, Scott is shocked. Amanda asks, is the situation outside is very bad? Scott says, everything will be fine soon. Something similar happened a few years ago when two boys created a virus. I hope everything will be fine soon. After this, they show Amanda's daughter who was outside, just then, a deer comes there, and she watches the deer carefully, right then many deer come there. On the flip side, Scott goes to his neighbor's house, but all the items are scattered there, and no one is there at home. Scott goes inside the house, knowing that his neighbor has a satellite phone. He brings the satellite phone outside, but there are no signals, because the American satellite has changed its direction. So, he comes to the beach, but when he comes to the beach and sees that a plane has crashed there, the scene here is very terrifying. Then he looks up and sees a plane coming towards him. He realizes that this plane is also going to crash here. He goes inside the house to save his life, but due to the plane crash in the water, the wave of water comes inside the house, due to which Scott gets wet. Afterwards, Scott comes home, and he tells his daughter that he fell into the pool. Actually, he doesn't want his daughter to be afraid. He then sends his daughter to another room, and he tells Amanda that, whatever happens, satellite phones never stop working. Amanda doesn't pay much attention to his words. He also tells her about the plane crash incident. On the flip side, we are shown Amanda's children, who are outside in the jungle, there they see a wooden cabin. Amanda's daughter tells her brother that many deer came to me, but he doesn't pay much attention to her words. Instead, he scares her even more. Both of them then come out of their cabins. Just then, they hear a loud noise. They have to close their ears because of this noise. Amanda can also hear this noise at home, and she starts worrying about her children. So she goes out into the jungle and brings her children inside the house. Meanwhile, Amanda's husband is shown. He went out to find out what is happening outside in the world, but he doesn't see anyone far away. And when he is returning home by car, his GPS is no longer working, so he has forgotten the way to go home. Just then, a lady comes in front of him, the lady was very worried. She says, I have been searching for my house for the last two days, but due to the GPS not working, I am not finding my house. Although he wants to help her, but her behavior is so strange that he gets scared and leaves without helping her. Just then, a plane comes towards him, which is dropping something from above. Actually, these are small cards. Amanda's husband sees that something is written on this card in another language. 
On the flip side, we are shown Amanda, she is very worried about her husband. Amanda's son says, since I heard that voice, something is happening in my ears. Actually, when the loud noise heard, he couldn't close his ears properly. After this, Amanda asks Scott, what's happening in outside and what was the sound? He tells her that, it was neither the sound of a plane nor the sound of a bomb. I think, it was a sound wave that is itself a weapon. Amanda tells, two days ago, I saw a man who had bought a lot of packed food and water. I think he already knew about these situations. Scott says he is my friend. I know him. He was already aware of these situations, so he bought a lot of packed food and water. Afterwards, Amanda's husband comes home. He has the same red paper that the plane dropped from above. He gives that paper to his son. Her son notices a drawing on a red piece of paper, one side depicting a dragon while the other side had writing in a different language. He identifies a word that he recognized from a video game. He explains that, it meant, America's demise. This revelation frightens Amanda and her husband, prompting them to decide to return to the city, to their home. Despite Scott's attempts to dissuade them, citing the deteriorating situation in the city, Amanda disregards his warnings and leaves with her family. Soon after, they encounter a chaotic scene with numerous cars scattered about, having collided unexpectedly. All of a sudden all the cars went out of control and collided with each other, and now there is no way forward. The systems of the cars are also malfunctioning now. That's when Amanda notices that a white car is approaching from behind. She quickly gets into her car with her family and moves her car from there, saving their lives. Now, Amanda, with her entire family, once again returns to Scott's house. Scott sits with Amanda while Scott's daughter and Amanda's husband are out. That's when they see that there are many flamingos in the pool, which is very strange in itself. Inside, Scott tells Amanda that he has a friend who is very wealthy. He knew about this type of situation beforehand, so he has built very large and luxurious houses to avoid such situations. Then the strange noise starts again. This noise gets very loud. Everyone closes their ears, but the noise is so loud that things in the house also break. After a long time, the noise stops, and now everyone is scared. At night, Amanda's entire family sleeps on one bed. The next morning, when her son wakes up, he sees that his teeth are breaking on their own. Upon seeing this, Amanda and her husband become completely worried. Scott says that, the man you saw who was buying goods, he is my friend. I am sure he also has medicines, and he lives nearby. Then Scott, Amanda's husband, and her son go to the man's house by car. But that man tells them to stay away from his home. He has also a gun. Amanda's husband says, my son's physical condition is not good. His teeth are falling and he is in the car. Scott's friend says, this is happening to many people who hear loud noises. It has a deep impact on the mind, and this is happening because of it. I can't help you in this. Scott is surprised to hear his words. He says, we are friends, you should help us. He says, now I am not anyone's friend. Times have changed, we have been attacked. As you want to save your family, I also want to save my family. An argument starts between the two, and it escalates to the point where both blame each other. Amanda's husband intervenes and stops them from fighting. Then he tells Scott's friend, if I were in your place, I would help you. I need your help now. In return, I am ready to pay you. Scott's friend says, when there is no government in this world, then what is the use of this money and currency? After that, Scott's friend helps Amanda's son. He gives him medicine. He also tells both of them, I think, the attack on us may have been done by Iranians, Koreans, or Chinese or it could be another country because, America has made many enemies from many countries in the last several years. Or it could be that many countries have attacked our country together. After this, Amanda's husband and Scott sit in the car. Scott says, I knew something like this was going to happen. Because whenever a country has to end another country, three big moves are made. First, their communication system is completely cut off. Then they are attacked in such a way that no one knows anything. It's a secret attack. People get scared, and they start suspecting each other and there is an atmosphere of chaos in the whole country. And when the enemy's two moves are successful, the third move automatically becomes successful, and that is the world war. When there is no government in any country, no one will be able to control anyone, and the world will start fighting each other. On the flip side, we are shown to Amanda, she is looking for her daughter. Her daughter is not at home. So Amanda and Scott's daughter go into the jungle to find her, where they reach near the wood cabin. Here they hear strange noises around them. They see that there are many deer around them. Amanda screams loudly, after which the deer run away from there. Then Amanda looks towards the city, where smoke is rising. There is an atmosphere of war. Screaming and shouting is coming from all sides. 
Amanda understands that the place where she is right now, this place is safe. Actually, there is no law and order in the city now. They are very scared, that's why they are looting and killing each other. Meanwhile, Amanda's daughter is shown, she is going to a house where she finds a secret bunker. She goes inside the bunker, and where there are many supplies of food and drink. There is also electricity here. She also finds DVDs of friends here. She is very happy to see this, because she has seen all its episodes. She just had to watch the last episode, and now she will watch that episode too. Actually, this house, this bunker is the same bunker, about which Scott told that he has a friend who is very rich and who knew about such dangers beforehand. So he has made a bunker where there are many supplies of food and drink. And this place is completely safe. And now if Amanda's daughter is also here, then Amanda's entire family will come here with Scott, and they can stay here completely safe. With this, the story ends here. What do you think who attacked? Write in the comments. We hope you like this story.